this video demonstration I'm going to show you how to program the top three lines of your receipt header message on the Casio SES 400. The default setting you get on the till is your receipt, thank you, call again. And we're going to change this. We're going to change it to Casio help in double sized characters. We're going to pop in a phone number and then a website on the third line. The first thing you need is the PGM key and you need to turn it round to the PGM position and then using the arrow down button you need to select message setting from the list of options. When that's highlighted, press cache amount tend and we can see we're now in logo 1, 2, 3 and 4 setting. The default settings have come up and the top line is highlighted already, so your receipt. To go in and edit this, you simply press cache amount tend and because we're completely changing it, we can use this button here, which is the delete button, to get rid of what's already on there. You can then press double size which will put the whole line in double size characters. On the 400, if you're using normal size, you get 24 characters per line. In the double size, you get 12. If we wanted to centre this line, we pop in a space because the phrase Casio space help has 10 letters if they're double size, so that means 10 out of 12, so we've got two left over. So if we pop in one space, that should centre the line. So the space button is here. You don't have to do this, you can have it left justified. I'll do the other lines left justified, it's just to show for way of demonstration. Now we can type in the letters. You can either use the department buttons here, which have the letters in capitals, or if you need to enter in lowercase or use punctuation, you use the number keypad. I'll demonstrate how to do this on the next two lines. There's Cassio in, and then pop a space and type in help. You can have lowercase on the department buttons, but you then have to get involved in toggling um, between the two buttons, so I find this the simplest method. You press cache, then scroll down to line two. We can see there we've got Casio help now, now programmed in, and that has appeared there on the top line of the receipt, so we can see it's centered. To edit line two, again it's cache when it's highlighted. Delete everything that's on there. We're now going to pop in a phone number. We're just going to have this left justified. So to start with, if we put in T E L nice and quickly, all the punctuation is controlled by the number seven button. But basically, you have to press the number seven key multiple times to get the desired punctuation. So for this time, we want it one, two, three, four, five. That should give us the colon. There we go. Pop in a space, and now we're into our number, zero. All the number buttons work like this, so they have the three or four letters on them, depending on which one you're using, and have the letters first in capitals, and then they have the letters again in lowercase, then they have the number. So if you're looking for the number, it's normally either the ninth or the seventh press, depending on how many um, letters are on that button number two and then this one number three because there's four letters on it should be nine presses you go through the uppercase lowercase and then the number if you miss the number like I just did then it's not a problem you just keep going until you get back to it you wouldn't want to do that on the number seven button because there's quite a lot of options under that one so you could be pressing it for some time popping a space there Please don't dial this number that comes up, it's just one I'm making up. Presumably it does actually go somewhere. There we go, the zero is the first press, like the number seven. Once you're happy with your line, again you press cache amount tend, and that brings us back to the logo settings. So we've got Casio help, then the phone number. If you want to see how the number looks, the second line looks, you can press the feed button It'll just show you on the print out there what's what's going to show up. Arrow down to this line. Again, we simply press the delete button to get rid of what's on there at the moment. And this one we're going to put in the website. Now, for a website, you want presumably www at the start with lowercase. Because all the W's are obviously on the same button, you have to press the double zero button to set the W, else if we keep pressing it and go to the second W, it won't let us, it'll just keep toggling around. So 
So there's the first W. That character fix button, the double zero button, will then allow you to enter the second W. If you don't go past it. Ah, they've done it again. There we go, double zero, and then the last W. And then the decimal point, if we refer back to the page in the manual that shows us where all the settings are, the decimal point is the 30 second press of the number seven key. There we go. And then the rest of the website address, because we have it in lowercase, we'll use these buttons. So to get the lowercase, you have to go toggle through the uppercase. The C and the A I want to put in now are on the same button, so I'll press the double zero key. There's the A. Lowercase S. Lowercase I. Lowercase O. Lowercase H, lowercase E, lowercase L, lowercase P, and then the dot again, so we want the number 7132 times. You can obviously, as you go through, you can see that it does show you what punctuation's on there, but it's quite boring to look at. Small point again. Lowercase u, lowercase k, and then when you're happy, cash amount end, and that's the three lines edited. So you can turn the key back to the reg position. Oops. No, press subtotal once you've finished that section, and you can only turn the key when you've got the root menu of settings showing. Turn it back to reg now, and if we pop a quick sail through, just to double check what our line looks like. So that's what I was referring to with the centering. Because I've centered the Casio help and not centered the other two lines, it does look a bit silly, but it's quite easy to go back in and edit. So if we go back to P, arrow down to message setting, and then we decide, right, Casio helpline doesn't look quite right, centred, and the other's not centred. When we've got it highlighted, we can simply press the delete button and it will take out that space. So you don't have to retype in the whole line. You simply go in back into the line, remove the space or add whatever you're trying to do, and then it looks a lot better like that. Okay, once you've finished, again, subtotal, till you get back to the setting menu, and then you can safely turn the key back to the reg position. For more information, please visit casiohelp.co.uk. Thanks for watching.